What is up, Dremeler Nation? I'm your host, Icy Caress, and let's get Oh, wow. Okay, that meme kind of died. <laughs> What's up, people? I'm going to make a planet. Well, not actually make a planet. I'm going to help create a livable Mars in planet craft. This isn't Mars. There's like six planets in the sky. What the hell? Where am I? Welcome to your assigned planet. Well, that's very helpful. Thank you so much for telling me that it's just an assigned planet. First reach 175 TI and create a blue atmosphere. Okay. All right, let's figure this shit out. I need iron, I need ice, cobalt, and magnesium. All right, so I pick up resources, pick it back to the crafter, and do the ye olde one, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war, except I'm building stuff. Hell yeah, we got this. Ooh. Hey! All right, let's store the stuff we don't need in here for now. Grab the stuff we do need. I also need a bunch of cobalts. Go grab four cobalt and then head back, craft the stuff we need. I am running out of oxygen really fast. This is stressful. Go, 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 go. Oh God, oh God, oh God. The bar, the bar is low. Oh, I'll make it, I got this, I got this. Uh oh, ah, oh, I almost didn't have it, Jesus. All right, we've unlocked base building now. Now, if we're gonna be turning this into a livable planet, I have a sneaking suspicion that all of this is going to be underwater, which would not be great for us, would it? So we need to decide where we are going to live permanently. I feel like over there is gonna be a good place. There seems to be a lot going on over there in general, so, Let's pack up. Oh, well, is there anything else here we need? I guess deconstruction. Let's let's quickly build everything we need here, which would probably be deconstruction, and then pack up and head out that way and build ourselves a little base over there. Uh, hopefully I can get oxygen over there. I feel like building over here is just asking for trouble. Look how deep this hole, this looks like it is a, a lake, except there's no water. All right. We're heading on an adventure. If we don't find somewhere to live by the time that number hits 70%, eh, 50%, we'll, we'll, we'll have to run back. Otherwise we're gonna die. <laughs> oh, there's a crashed ship over here. <gasps> Ooh. You know what? Living over here might not be such a bad idea. There's a lot of resources. There's a cave, a crashed ship. That? Yeah, I dig it. I dig it. I think this is where we're going to set up shop. That area, it just looks like it's going to be filled with water. I, I, I really don't trust it. So let's set up shop here. Um, I realize I've gone way over what I said I was going to. So hopefully this generates oxygen. <laughs> Please. A door on. And we're going to leave. Awesome, now that we've done that, I'm gonna go out and gather a crap ton of resources, bring it back, set up shop, and we will be right back once I've done that. I wanna be able to make some good advancements in this first video, and that means I'm gonna be a busy boy. So, be right back. What the hell? What the hell? Wait, what? What is that? That doesn't look good. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh, run! Run away! Oh! oh, oh, oh. Ah, the heavens are raining down! Run! Oh my god, dude! Whoa! Okay, I don't think any of them are actually heading towards me. Oh god, I need an option. Uh, is that one heading towards me? Wait! Oh, are these gonna drop resources? I bet they are. I bet they are. Whoa! safe now? Heavens want to spit any more death upon me? No, it's going to be all right. Fantastic. Apparently, oxygen's not the only thing we need to be worried about on this goddamn planet. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh God, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Ah, please no. Please don't kill me. I am evil son. No. Oh no. Come on. I made it. 
I made it. I'm alive. I'm alive. Woo! I need to build a craft station. I'll put that here. And we also need to build some power. Now, uh, wind, wind turbines are our only source of power right now, and they cost one iron each. So let's grog out. All right. Uh, my inner my inner gremlin came out for a sec. What was that? Let's drag out all of our iron and figure out, I guess here, this would be a good power source area. So we'll set up all our power over here and be giggity giggity good to go. Doesn't look like there's any cabling required for this, which is pretty nice. So we can just set all this up. You're right, no cables required. This is wireless power, baby. Recharge your phone from 10 kilometers away. Hell, uh, uh. Hell yeah. I'm assuming again, they'll just pull power from the, yep, they seem to be pulling power from our windmills, which is pretty awesome. So what's up for them? And that's our terraforming index finally going up. Six, so once we hit 175, I think it said on the terraforming index, we will see blue skies. Oh, it's gonna be cool. Hell yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No! I missed! <laughs> okay. Oh. I'm alive. Oh, I dropped something. Ah! Hey, hey! Okay, death is not to be feared then, apparently. Jesus. And Oxygen Tank Tier 2 has been built. And if we slap that in, 200. We have effectively doubled our range. All right. I am going to go out and explore a little bit more, grab some more resources, because we are short of almost everything. Uh, and I'll take a couple of oxygen capsules with me so I can actually go out a bit further this time. Hopefully find some cool stuff, because we are missing uh, really everything. Uh, I don't know where to find this iridium stuff, so we're definitely going to need to look for that. And just, uh, just, yeah, let's just go. Let's just go. All right, we're back. I'm going to go explore this ship, I think. I'm, uh, I'm running out of things to gather over here. And based on the fact that there's just boxes with loot lying around, surely there's going to be a bunch of loot inside a crashed ship, right? I mean, that just makes sense to me anyway. All right then ah i don't have a torch well this exploration mission has been cut short <laughs> we'll be back in a second i'm gonna get a torch right hello abandoned ship um there is oh what oh aha uh -huh. does that give me anything I gave me one iron. Great. Oh, hey, there we go. This is what I was looking for. Wow. A lot of seats. All right, that's kind of cool. Blueprint microchip. Using the blueprint screen to unlock a new blueprint. Okie dokie. Then I don't see anything else in here that's of any value. Wait, can I deconstruct the box? I can. All right. Never mind. We need as much iron as we can get, bro. I will deconstruct everything. Aritan. There's there's another direction to explore in that ship, so we'll quickly pop back and drop off our stuff and then head back in. Okay, let's get going. Oh, oh, that looks like a here. Oh, that's gonna give us iridium, right? Please tell me, I can deconstruct it. Give me iridium, please, please. Yeah, two iridium, baby. We are, oh, three iridium, four. Oh, dude, I, I don't often use my soundboard sound effects uh, when I'm recording, but I think that's worth it. Dude, we got Iridium City, baby. Hell yeah. All right, let's drop off the silicon, take this with us. Uh, I think we basically cleared this entire ship. There's just a little bit of resources left in here. Uh, this one here, which uh, I guess I can take that because that seems somewhat rare. Uh, so we'll just be leaving now, I guess. Hell yeah. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna build so many heaters, bro. So many heaters. There we go. Expansion is done and it is looking spicy, bruh. Right, let's grab ourselves some heater stuff and get cooking. That sounded like I'm gonna make meth in a or something. That's not what I meant. <laughs> no, Jesse, we gotta cook. We gotta cook, Jesse. All right, we're not really gonna be doing much with this corner, so we'll just fill it up with heaters. 
And hopefully that'll boost our terraform. I think we ran out of power. <laughs> Not to worry, we have literally God's iron in here. I have collected so much freaking iron, it is unreal. Let's go advance our power supply. Ooh. Ooh. 6.5? That's so much better. Oh, crap. We're going to make ourselves a bunch of, uh, 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 uh I, I can't remember the name of those solar panels. My brain. Good Lord. And, uh, I assume the direction of it doesn't really matter, right? Like, if I put it here, it's just, yeah, that's going to annoy me. I don't know why I turned that one around. <laughs> There we go. That's, that's still collecting power, right? Hey, we passed 1,000 KTI! Yeah! Which I think means kill a transformation index. Yes, I nailed it. Let's go over here. There was a cave here that I'm kind of curious about and want to explore. Hopefully there's gonna be iron deposits in here. Oh, thank God. Okay, looks like there is some iron in here. Not a ton, but enough to get us going i want to reach blue sky man blue sky sounds um oh hey all right never mind screw the iron apparently what the hell <gasps> okay all right we found a source of aluminium and iridium hell yeah all right yeah we need both of these these are for like advanced stuff like the heater and uh well, that, that's pretty much it. I don't know what else it is for. But yeah, healers are important, right? Yeah. Well, let's gather as much as we can. I'll also grab an iron. Whoa. Uh, what is... Oh. Starts melting at 100 NK? N? N? N, non decillion There's no freaking way it's a non decillion right? Uh, for those of you who don't, non, non decillions like really, hey, hello, really, really high up there in terms of, I don't know what a super alloy is, but I probably want to bring that with me. In terms of like numerical values, um, I'm, I'm not a mathematician. I can't tell you exactly how big a non decillion is, but I can't tell you it's really, really big okay like really big in the meantime though we have gathered a bunch of iron bunch of iridium let's head back and continue advancing science hey beautiful right what does that cost oh oh i went and grabbed all these resources for nothing actually the resource i needed the most titanium i only gathered two of son of a bitch hey what's up fellas um i do believe the word depreciated comes to mind right now because your services are no longer required <laughs> oh this is awesome nothing could possibly go wrong now nice all right, if that doesn't send our production to the moon, nothing will. Uh, hey, hey, what did I say? All right, let's get, get, get back into the base. Figure out what the hell is required to build a backpack tier three. We are rocking up here. Uh, aluminium, titanium, silicon. Pretty sure we have all of that on hand right now. Backpack tier three. There we go. My God, this is massive. Awesome. Right. Cool. Uh, let's see. Here we are. Uh, so mostly what's going up right now is pressure, which, oh, well, shit. None, none of this stuff is really particularly helpful for us. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. We unlocked veggie chip tier two. Sorry. I saw that earlier. I didn't notice. Iron, ice, magnesium, and silicone. Okay, so in order to make a bunch of these, I'm gonna need to go out and grab some more ice. All right, cool. Well, at least we have a goal now. Uh, that will massively boost our oxygen production, which in turn will grant us access to the heater pretty quickly. And the heater is gonna increase our heat, which will increase our pressure, which, you know, it'll snowball from there, hopefully. And bam! Uh-oh. <laughs> that is not a good sound. Okay, hang on. Let's finish placing these. Uh, and then we'll, we'll head out and try and solve our power situation. Because 
Whoops, I might have drained the batteries a little too hard. Sounds like power is back. I gotta say these solar panels are infinitely better than the, uh, the windmills. It does cost a little bit extra resources, but in terms of power, bro, bro, cannot be matched. All right, our auction, Whoa, look at it go. Oh, look at that shit go. Okay, awesome. Oh, we're, we're gonna unlock these lightning fast. Unfortunately, they don't increase pressure. Wait, what? I'm generating. Oh, cause I'm only converting carbon dioxide carbon dioxide into oxygen right so i'm not actually increasing pressure with them pressure is still done with the drill that's fine because our oxygen is going up so fast we'll be able to get heater tier two which we will obviously need to deconstruct these for i'm assuming those are going to need two iridium per which is fine because we've got four iridium right here four iridium over there Sick, we're, we're pretty much ready. We'll, we'll just need to wait until that hits the right level. Uh, where is it? Well, that, yeah, there, okay, we're almost there. Boom, baby. Two iridium, silicon, titanium, iron, and aluminium. I'm pretty sure we have all of that stuff. So let's deconstruct these. Okay, these are big chonkers, so we'll do one. Crap, titanium, of course. And that is a three and four. Boom. All right, so we've matched the production from the four normal ones up to four large ones, which goes from 0 0.3 to 4.5. Holy shit, no wonder our heat went skyrocketing. Wow. But still, we have unlocked communication antenna, transmissions, and a ladder. What that tells me is the game expects me to build up. I think right here for the ladder. So that'll send us up above. And then we can build up here the communication antenna, silicon and aluminium. <laughs> this thing is huge. Holy shit. All right, we'll put it over here. Uh, we're at power again, aren't we? God damn it. Uh, we only have enough for one more. Oh, thank God. As I say, we only had enough cobalt for one more solar panel there. Uh, but we can put two then. Cool. That thing is so big. I bet we're getting all sorts of transmissions from aliens. Get a second table set up. Bam. Transmission screen and silicon and cobalt again. Both things we do not freaking have. Silicon and cobalt, silicon and cobalt, silicon and cobalt. This is what I do all the time. I think between this episode and next episode, I'm going to spend a good half an hour grabbing resources and getting set up. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, our power problems might have just been resolved for the near future by the way uh don't ask me why i think that because i have no idea 19.5 that's freaking insane <sighs> oh, uh, uh, that wind surely blows the hell out of you not not in that way shut up shut up just, just shut up <laughs> yeah. nice 12.2 percent towards a blue sky Oh, back when I used to work for a call center, there was a, a thing we used to follow called Blue Sky, all about being friendly to your customers, uh, which was quite funny because we went we went through all this. Tra I, don't, I don't don't know if anyone cares about it. this. This is just story time with Icy. Uh, we went through all this training about being friendly to customers, nice to customers, keeping them on the phone, uh, being you know make, making sure that they feel uh, welcomed and warm and happy and and the moment the training was over we went back to our chairs like oh yeah by the way you're limited to five minutes per call <laughs> what yeah uh, you get penalized if you go over well, what the hell was the training for oh, you know just be friendly to your customers it's kind of hard to be friendly with your customers if you're going to be penalized for being on the phone for longer than five minutes yeah i i, I just the the, 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 the the brain on the managers of that company just blew me away of how densely dumb they are anyone else got any stories about stupid managers and call centers or anything like that i'd really be interested to see them down in the comments below it just for some reason a specifically call centers that have this issue or i mean obviously there's other managers that are absolutely dumb and i do want to hear your stories about them as well but call center managers are just the epitome 
of stupid. And I don't think anyone would disagree with me on that. I, it just, yeah, it's just a thing. It's a fact. It's a law of physics at this point. Hey, I'm like a double bed to remind me how lonely I am. All right, solar panel tier two. We'll set this up over here. Bam, that will massively boost our power production. Now, unfortunately, we don't have enough aluminum to do any more, but all in all, this has gone really, really well. So I think that's where we're going to leave off for today. Uh, next episode, I'm pretty sure, considering how fast our terraformation index is skyrocketing, and considering I'm going to do some resource gathering between episodes, we should reach blue sky and be able to see the glory of Planet Clafter. Cl 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 Clafter? Clafter? Really?